Elizabeth. I had such hopes for you. I really did like you. Hmm. Yes, I called you Jessica last week. I realize your name is Elizabeth. I won't forget. <laughs> but uh, to quote Izzy, you are not the sharpest tool in the shed. Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today I am super excited to be covering Below Deck, Season 8, Episode 8, No Way Rosé. Such a good season. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, not much is going on, but I'm still enjoying the heck out of it. So let's talk about it and let's get into it. Hey guys, I just want to take a second and say if you're enjoying this show, please check out my Patreon. Go to patreon.com, search Real Housewives Recaps, or check the comments below and I'll put a link. And for a dollar a week, you can support my show and get four bonus episodes per month. I'm covering Scary Island like the greatest season of Real Housewives in New York. So check it out. Thanks so much. So I started out by telling you how I became disillusioned with Elizabeth this episode, but I'm still going to tell you I cannot with Francesca. Look at this. Such crap. Showing, like, playing favorites so hard with Ashley. And yes, Ashley is a way better stew. I'm not denying that. But to do that in front of Elizabeth, not Jessica, um... <laughs> sucks it's her management style sucks so if it were up to me i'd probably get rid of both francesca and elizabeth okay so we pick up after the rachel thing i'm not even gonna say what she said because it was so disgusting you guys are so smart you left me so many comments last week and you called it rachel came back so i'm very excited i know she screwed up and her mouth sucks but but I love her food, so I'm glad that she came back this episode. Okay, so Captain is talking to Francesca. They're down a deck can. They're down a chef. Oh, no, what are we going to do? Well, right after this, we do see we get a new deck hand. His name is Rob. And at first, I wasn't sure about Rob, but I think I like Rob. One episode in. We'll see. But I like him. He comes off of sailing boats. Um, he's cute. He seems like he has a good personality. I like that he was checking with everybody to say, hey, can I help? Did you notice he did that with Rachel? He did that with Francesca. I know he likes Francesca, but he's asking around, and that's cool. So, let's see. He walks around. He meets the captain. Eddie says he ha Rob has experience, which will be a change in pace, as opposed to Shane. Um, I got a lot of crap for saying, oh, poor Shane. I didn't mean poor Shane because he sucks. I know he sucks. He should get fired. But poor Shane because he has to go through life thinking the way he does. Poor Shane. I just want to tossle his hair. Okay, so Rachel walks back up on the dock. They ask if she's back. She says it's up to Captain. She explains, last night my head was all over the place. I couldn't take it anymore. She walks in, says it was super unprofessional. I'm really sorry. Uh, if it's possible, may I please come back and do this charter? And Captain says, normally you don't get to walk off the boat and then come back. But they really need a chef, and chefs are prone to do that. We did get flashbacks of Ben throwing fit. God, that Leon, he was awful. Do you remember him from season three that gave Kate such a hard time? Ugh. Um, but Leon ended up walking off and quitting, which was great. Um... Okay, so he says he's on board with it, and he's, oh, he to camera says, part of me wants to say F the, this charter and let her swing in the wind, but we have guests coming. So Francesca's whining about trust being broken, and it's strictly professional. Oh, Francesca, I still cannot with her. Um, we find out Rob is an exploration geologist. He says he's a nerdy Indiana Jones. So he looks for gold, but when markets crash, he gets back on boats. I just think that's the most interesting storyline. Um, okay, so Eddie says Rachel's back like nothing happened, but something happened, and I'm not going to forget it. I don't think she deserves her job back, but we need her back for now. I think that seems to be the general sentiment about everybody. Um, Fran, I keep calling her Fran, Francesca has a stew meeting about the next charter. They're asking for so many things, from theme parties to elaborate dinners. So Francesca says, okay, Ashling, you're good. Elizabeth, let me talk to you. Um, 
She says, the two-stripe two situation isn't working for me at the moment. And Elizabeth says she plans on 100% improvement. And here's what I'll say. I think Elizabeth thinks she means it. I really do. That's where I give Elizabeth the benefit of the doubt. I think she is trying. I think she thinks she's doing a great job. I think part of it, not all of it, part of it is Francesca being a shitty leader. But I also think, as he said it right, like, Francesca sucks, but Elizabeth really is not the brightest. She's really not. She's a sweet girl. I think she's trying, but she sucks. <laughs> uh, so she knows everything is going to be watched. She says, I'm up for the challenge. I'm not going anywhere. And in my notes, I wrote, uh-oh. So provisions arrive, but we find out the guests are arriving in 20 minutes, and everybody is scrambling. Let me go ahead and talk about the guests. So, I was absolutely prepared to hate these guys. Their preference sheet sucks. Everybody was dreading them coming on, and I thought, oh God, it's going to be terrible. I ended up liking them. I know, I know. They're high maintenance. They're awful. About everything they put on paper sucks, but they seem, they seem like a lot of fun. And of all the guests so far, I think I want to be on this charter boat. I just, they made me laugh, and I thought they were funny, and I liked that the guy wore a popsicle suit, and he's talking about licking popsicles. <laughs> I don't know. I, they just seem like a mess, but I to, I'm down to hang out with them and <laughs> eat an eight-course meal and all that. They didn't seem as high maintenance as some of the other ones we've seen, they were very complimentary, which I appreciate. Like, they didn't treat the the staff like poop like I thought they would. So, I, I, I'm okay with them so far. We'll see. So, um, let's see. They're leaving Doc. Elizabeth says to Ashling, um, she realizes that she's frustrating Francesca. And I thought, okay, self-awareness, that's good. And Ashling tells her... Well, we'll see what happens. Go play with your crystals, which I thought was really funny. Elizabeth's trying to ask Rachel about silverware, and Rachel says, I don't know, go talk it over with Fran. So basically, Rachel is trying to get out of the middle of the two of them. She says she doesn't want to be in the middle. She just wants to do a good job. She wants to kiss the captain's ass. So the boat gets moved a little bit, but they end up um, anchoring so they can do this white glove service. They seem to do that with every meal. And I'm laughing thinking about when Hannah absolutely did not want to white, do white glove service. And I was thinking, oh, God, how would Hannah ha how would handle? Man, that's hard to say. Hannah, handle all this. Okay. So immediately the guests say they are blown away by the food. Francesca says, I think Elizabeth thinks she's a, she's a diner waitress. She pours the wine by the neck. So this is where I have a problem with Francesca. You have to communicate that to her. She's never going to learn if you don't tell her. I know. Even if she does tell her, she probably won't learn. But just tell her. Uh, that's what always bugged me about Hannah. I like Hannah. I know. I know a lot of you guys do. But she would say these things under her breath and be condescending, but not actually teach them stuff. You need to teach them. Uh, okay, so Eddie's talking about coronavirus. He does a really funny impression of Trump. We're not going to get political, but it made me laugh. Um, Lee says he's keeping a close tab on Rachel. So it's an eight-course tasting menu for dinner. And he thinks this is her mea culpa. Eddie says now they have a solid crew. He's so happy with the new guy. So then we see it's evening time. The guests are getting dressed up for Mardi Gras. And James wants to know about Elizabeth. And if she has a boyfriend, she, we find out she's just out of a relationship and she says she gets very possessive. She said she's hopelessly romantic and she is attracted to James. I could totally see these two together. I think neither one are the sharpest. I think <laughs> that they're just weird enough to like each other. So they're all getting ready for an eight, uh, 830 dinner. It's that eight course tasting. The new guy, Rob, offers to help Rachel. That gave me points for him. I just really like that. I think that's cool. They, okay, so the guests sit down. They absolutely love the tablescape. They love the decor. Somewhere Bugsy is laughing. Um, Rachel tries to prove to Captain Lee that he didn't make a bad decision, but the guests say that they absolutely love dinner. They thought it was fantastic. Rob's explaining the key difference between sailing boats and yachts is sailing boats are gritty and adventuresome and 
Yachts are cushy. Guests call Rachel an absolute genius. Eddie's talking to Captain about the anchorage and the plan for everything and uh, talking about Rob and he seems to think he'll be a good fit. We see Elizabeth and Izzy dying over Rachel's food and how good it is. Rachel made this Mardi Gras cake and the guests are so happy they say she nailed it. Uh, so it's time to clean up after dinner. And Izzy asks Elizabeth, how's Francesca been? Has she been nicer to you? And she said, Elizabeth says, I was so taken aback how she was speaking to me yesterday. I was like, can we talk? And she said no and walked away. She seemed really mad and confused. And then she trails off because that's when Fran walks in. Sounds like we get a bigger taste of this next week when they get talk, uh, caught talking shit about Francesca. Um, let's see. Francesca says, it sounds like you're having an awkward conversation. Elizabeth covers and says, no, she's asking me how I'm feeling. Francesca to camera says, it's really not nice. My team is talking about me behind my back. It hurts my feelings. I don't feel like I can trust anybody on this boat. So again, that goes back to Fran's poor, Francesca's poor leadership skills, I think. So she's holding things to herself. She's not communicating clearly. And then she feels like she can't trust anybody. She'll hold things even closer to herself. Okay, so next morning, or so everybody goes to bed. We see Elizabeth staying up cleaning up. Now, this is where I, I was with Elizabeth. She's trying so hard. She, we saw her working. She wasn't just screwing off. Um, she said, things with Francesca are not good right now. All I can do is show her how hard I can work. She was up till 145. The camera showed that the decorations were still up. So Elizabeth wakes up with affirmations and she goes to talk to Francesca. Francesca talks about stuff for the day and points out that Elizabeth forgot to take down last night's decorations. So again, Francesca's a poor leader. Elizabeth can't follow simple directions. That's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> um, so when Elizabeth talks to Fran, Fran gets on to her about how late she was up and asks why. And she's explaining that she had to clean up confetti and Francesca's just kind of being a bitch to her. I don't mean to be hard on Francesca. I really wanted to like her. It's not that, oh, she'll never replace Kate. I'm not even thinking about it like that. I'm just thinking she's just a shitty leader. <laughs> um, Francesca says, ideally, we don't want to be up that late and... We need to get done even quicker. And Elizabeth says, oh my God, I'm getting in trouble for working too late. Um, and she says she has no saying. It's just hard to take. So let's see here. Rachel is doing a French toast special for the guests. They say it's truly amazing. She ends up making a special one for Captain Lee. And Lee says it's the best French toast he's ever had. We see Eddie complaining about the slide that he hates it. Apparently, it's a big pain in the rear. We've heard this for years. Um, so, Eddie's working on the slide, and he realizes something's wrong. It's backwards. So, Lee says it's the epitome of a shit sandwich. Nice. So, we see Eddie jump down onto the slide to grab some... I don't know what he was doing. I guess grabbing a line or something to be able to turn the slide around. Um, all of a sudden, we start hearing, no, Captain, no. He's... Lee... Captain Lee is climbing over the railing of the boat. And Eddie's like, no, no, no. And Lee's like, I got this, GD. <laughs> um, so if you remember at the beginning of the season, Captain had hurt his ribs. And he was saying ribs don't heal quickly. But if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. So they get it turned around. They get it set up. The guests are very excited to go down the slide. James says he really likes Rob because he's not taking the job too seriously. Because they're discussing Britney Spears videos. <laughs> um, I don't know that he's not taking the job seriously. I think he's just having fun while he works. I think James isn't taking the job seriously. So Francesca is putting Elizabeth on the beach picnic slash the s'mores setup. Um, I feel like that was definitely intentional. She likes to set her up so that way Elizabeth will screw up. And believe me, Elizabeth will screw up. Rob says Francesca put some... But puts out some pretty hot vibes and she, he's saying he's hopeless with flirting with girls and he's so awkward but he seems into Francesca 
Rachel's making a low country boil for lunch, and Francesca is paging Elizabeth for salt and pepper, etc. And um, the captain overhears them on the radio, and captain says, I hope Elizabeth makes it. So that's an interesting dynamic right there. It's Captain versus uh, Francesca on that one. We see Elizabeth talking to her dad. Turns out he's a lawyer in New York. And she, she says he makes her laugh harder than anybody else. So that's cool. It's cool to see the relationship. Ashling has a really funny line here where she says, Holy mother of tits, we have so many dishes to do. <laughs> Okay, so Rachel is home making marshmallows for the s'mores. We find out later that they have rose water in them. I have never wanted to try a marshmallow so bad in my life. That sounds so good. Um, so it's Izzy and Elizabeth. They're setting up the beach picnic for s'mores. So the guys arrive, right? And all they want to do is sit on a beach and drink rosé, which P.S. sounds like heaven. That's what I want to do too, and I want to eat those marshmallows. Um, and... They're drinking, and Elizabeth realizes, oh, crap, I ran out of rosé. Hey, dum-dum, why didn't you bring a couple of bottles with you? You didn't think that for, what is it, six guys, that they might run out after... Uh, you might want to bring more than one bottle. I know she brought a bottle of different kind of champagne, but oh, that's where I lost it a little bit with Elizabeth. Is he has one of my favorite lines of the whole episode. She says, I'm with Elizabeth about Francesca not being the greatest boss, but uh, I also think she's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Eddie goes back. He saves the day. He gets Rosé, brings it to them. And Francesca says, they forgot the champagne. What the F? So Eddie brings more. Francesca tells Ashling that she's going to start pulling for dinner, getting ready. Ashling brings up all the sheets that were turned over today, and Francesca says, which one's the master? And Ashling says, no, all of them. And Francesca's like, why did you do that? And Ashling, it ends up, we see a clip. Basically what happens is Francesca told Elizabeth, hey, the master wants new sheets. Then when Elizabeth tells Ashling, she says they all need new sheets. So, again, this is where we see the communication breakdown. Francesca doesn't communicate well, but that time she did. She straight up told her, and then Elizabeth just hears what she wants to hear and tells Ashling whatever. So, Ashling to camera says, Elizabeth doesn't listen. It goes in one ear and out the other, and Ashling is very frustrated. So the guests are enjoying their homemade marshmallows. They love them. They keep complimenting Rachel. Um, Francesca asks the captain if she and Ashling can jump in the water quickly, and he says, absolutely, everybody take a break, have some fun. Well, Elizabeth is saying, I would do anything to be in the water, and Izzy tells her that she just heard on the radio that Ashling and Elizabeth got to go in the water. So Elizabeth is obviously annoyed. She says, I feel like Fran thinks Ashling is perfect angel, and I'm a demon, and... She says if she stayed back, that wouldn't happen, which I agree. If Elizabeth was there and she has to go in the water, Francesca would judge the crap out of her and take it to the captain. So I get what she's saying there. I do definitely feel like Francesca's playing favorites, but then I see how much Elizabeth has screwed up, and I get why she's playing favorites. Okay, Captain asks, how's it going? And um, so, so he's asking Francesca what's going on. And any chance she has, she's telling the captain that Elizabeth sucks. She's like, well, apart from the champagne, and then trails off. Eddie, meanwhile, is telling Elizabeth that the captain, what the captain said about how he hopes that she can stay. So Elizabeth is very moved by this. She had no idea the captain felt that way. It just seems to be coming to a head. It's setting up a shit storm will be Captain versus Francesca, basically. Um, but meanwhile, we see... Francesca complaining to Captain about the Elizabeth stuff and all the things she's done wrong. She forgot to take down the decorations. She forgot the champagne and you know, all that stuff. Captain said, well, we can go ahead and replace her, but it's late in the season. Sometimes the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. And that's how the episode ends. So we see a flash to next time. Looks like they're all dressed up for 
Tour de France. I don't know <laughs> French food. Um, it's 60 plates of food and Captain's saying there's no room for error. And, uh, oh, it looks like the whole crew gets to go on some sort of wildlife adventure. Then we see Elizabeth and James in the hot tub. Bow, check, wow, wow, they're hooking up. Um, and then we see Fran tell Elizabeth that her priorities are wrong. To which I say, Francesca, your priorities are also wrong. Um, Izzy and Liz are talking about Francesca. And oh, they did not learn a lesson because Francesca appears to overhear it. So... Very curious to see what the heck happens there. It's not going to be good. And that is it, you guys. Such a good episode. I really enjoyed this one. I am glad Rachel's back. I hate how she left. Um, it's cool that she at least came back with, like, eating humble pie, I guess. <laughs> you know? Um, I love her food. I think she's the most amazing chef. So I don't love the way she left. I hate her mouth sometimes. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, so interesting to see how it'll play out. Very curious how Corona's going to affect everything and how will it work? Like, will the season just end? How's that going to go? Very curious. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if this is where you leave me, I just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. You know, enjoy your week. Stay healthy. Stay safe. I'm really appreciative of every single one of you. You've made it such a fantastic year for me. I mean, 2020 sucks, but I'm saying, like, for this channel. Um, thank you for that. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the lovely wishes and, and the friendships I've made. And I'm, I'm just grateful for each one of you. I really am. So thank you. Um, stay safe. Stay healthy. Um, I hope you're able to relax and enjoy. 2020 sucks, so I hope, you know, at least you can have a nice holiday. And, um, yeah, that's all I want to say. So thank you guys so much. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. I'm still going to post stuff, so don't worry. I'm not saying goodbye, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know what Bravo's airing schedule is yet. So I'll put some stuff up. Just keep coming back. I appreciate each one of you. Take care. Bye-bye.